and reports by council members. Let's start at this end of the table. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just one item this evening. Uh, just a final reminder that a week from tonight on Monday the 16th is uh, our Ward 5 Town Hall meeting. And that is from 6.30 to 8 p.m. It is at Peace with Christ Luther Church, which is at 3290 South Tower Road, east side of Tower, about two blocks north of Hamden. And uh, our topic is going to be, our main topic is going to be presented by Marianne Bonnell from Aurora Open Space regarding human and coyote interaction within the city. Thank you. Councilmember Bersons. Thank you. Um, <coughs> yes, I wanted to say a few things that maybe you've heard this week. Um, Forbes magazine has ranked Aurora as the ninth safest city in the country, and that's for cities over 250,000. So we're ninth in the country on that. Um, and I wanted to make sure um, an article that came out, uh, it said that there, there will be no water rate increases in 2012. There were no water rate increases in 2011 either, so we're real happy about that. What you will have um, is Metro Wastewater is increasing their rate. Um, so you will see about an 80 cent increase, but that's from Metro Wastewater, not from the city of Aurora. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. Um, and also, we have extended the hours of the library, um, the Aurora Central Library, the Martin Luther King Jr. Library, and the Talons Reach Library. If you'll go online, um, it'll tell you um, what the increased hours are. So we're very happy about that, too. So um, my next ward meeting will be in February. I don't have an exact date yet, but I will let you know just as soon as, as I have that. I'll be sending out emails and postcards. And one final thing, Roll Tide. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Councilmember Fitzgerald. Yes, Mayor, I'd, I'd like to make a new appointment to the CABC, the Budget Advisory Commission, and that would be Brad Wagnon, who's in the audience with his wife, Astrid. And Brad's background is finance and software. He's an analytical thinker, very interested in the community, and uh, I'm very happy to appoint him for the next two years or unless I drop before then. <laughs> uh, and then I, then I would also like to do one other thing, and that is, <laughs> thank you, Broncos. Yes. <laughs> Council Member Broom. I can't top that, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Mayor President Clellan. I just want to thank the Broncos. It was a great <laughs> game for those of you that were there, I'm, and even I'm watching it on TV. Um, I just thank them. This has been a good year. Councilmember Laguerre. Yes, I would like to announce that I, I have one uh, remaining Citizens Advisory Budget Committee appointment, and I'm going to appoint Sonny Banka, who is uh, a former uh, member. I believe she was appointed by Mayor Tower, and uh, I will, as of now, appoint her to go back on the committee. <laughs> Councilmember Market. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have two. I wanted to thank the Aurora Youth Commission. Oops, wait a minute. Sorry. Thanks, I wanted to thank the Aurora Youth Commission who adopted a family for the holidays through the Aurora Youth Options Program. Um, they donated $275 in gift cards and food to the family. Um, and that was a really nice gesture for kids from the city to do for other kids in the city. Also want to remind folks, my first ward meeting of the year is coming up. I can't find my calendar, but it's Thursday the 20th. Sixth, we'll be meeting at Bent Noodle. That's the restaurant on Parker at about, sort of like, help me out, guys, Dartmouth or Beth Dartmouth. 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 Um, great place. They have a wonderful little banquet room. We'll be there at 6.30. Um, and we're going to hear a speaker from Pros, um, Park Rec and Open Space Department, tell us about the Flat 14ers program, as well as anything else that Pros is up to. So Ward 4, join us the 26th at 6.30. Council Member Peterson. Um, I just have a wish for all of us that uh, our most gracious uh, Father would grant us all thoughtful leaders, safety for our protectors, that would be our, our military and our police and our firefighters, and good health and prosperity for all of our citizens, and I want to wish you all a happy new year. Thank you. Councilmember Miller. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just wanted to show everybody, I don't know if you can get a close-up of this or not, but what I'm holding in my hand is our YUM guide that was just um, published. So inside you will find a few hundred different locally owned, mostly locally owned places to eat in Aurora. They're broken up by geographic portions of the city. So if you've ever wondered, hmm, I think I want Vietnamese tonight or Italian or whatever you might, you might want, you can find it all here in Aurora. So just remember everything that you spend in Aurora, the taxes go to um, keep your parks and your libraries open and your streets improved and so it all helps everybody out. So a lot of great family owned restaurants. Um, our Ward 1, first Ward 1 town hall meeting is scheduled for, or being scheduled, coordinated for February. Uh, we're not, we don't have a time or a location place. So be sure you're checking your mail on our city website and I will get word out to you for that. And um, I think that's all. Council Member Hunter Holland. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge the Aurora Central High School Choir under the direction of Danella Iverson, who sang at the MLK kickoff celebration ceremony this morning. They were fabulous. And a special recognition to Rudy Lucero, who sang Lift Every Voice and, and Sing, which is the Black nas uh, National Anthem. He did a beautiful rendition. That guy has a great voice. And a special thanks to um, the Aurora Central High School Air Force ROTC Color Guard under the command of Colonel Plaza, who presented the colors during the celebration. Thanks. Thank you. We have one more opportunity for public invited to be heard. Is there anyone else who wishes to address council this evening? <clears throat> 